colors. I didn't. You don't need to color grade every single video. This whole video is going to be talking about why or when you should not color grade. So what is color grading? Color grading is a process in which you take the colors which come out of your camera, you correct those colors so that it would align to what you see in real life. And then a grade is basically a personal or a preference to what you want the end product to be. When you search for color grading, the first things that you see is usually the orange and teal color grade. It's what everybody fawns over, but like it's overrated, honestly. But that's basically color grade. It's, it's a preference. It depends on whoever's editing or the director on what they want the final film to look like. So before that, let's talk a little bit more about what I spoke about earlier, which is the difference between color grading and color correction. So color correction is your first step before you even get to color grading. When you're doing color correction and color grading, usually you shoot in a flat picture profile, which compresses all of the colors to preserve all of the detail, all of the information for you to stretch out in post. Color correction is when you stretch out those colors so that it would be accurate to whatever you see in real life. Color grading is when you manipulate that stretch into different colors so that it would have a different feel or a different effect to whatever final output you release. When does color grading begin? Color grading or color the whole coloring process, right, begins not at the editing room. It begins actually before you start shooting. You need to decide whether or not you color grade or not because that will dictate whether or not you use certain settings in your camera so that you can color grade it in post. That being said, you can still color grade even if you don't think about it uh, before in the pre-production. It would be better if you thought about it in pre-production so that your DOP or whoever is shooting can think about what their settings are going to be when you're shooting. Okay, so here's the gist of the whole video, right? When do you or when do you not color grade, right? One of the reasons for you to color grade is for aesthetic, of course. Feature films or documentaries, you color grade the shit out of that because you're evoking an emotion from the audience. You're trying to convey this feeling of whatever you're trying to film, right? A good example of when not to color grade is when you have a really, really tight deadline. One example of this is what I'm doing right now, which is the 100 and 300 challenge where I'm doing a video in three days. So I'm shooting, editing, and then posting. If I added a color grading step to that process, it would take me a longer time to edit and shoot and post. So in order to streamline that process, I, I would let go of the color grading so that it wouldn't hassle me when I'm trying to edit. Although I still take the time because I'm a psychopath. Another good reason for you to not color grade is the type of content you're trying to release. So for example, if you're trying to do YouTube content for, for example, for me, when I'm shooting something for Oasis, I tend not to shoot in something where the data is compressed and very, very flat, where we have editors with, which don't have a formal training in color grading. So it would be better for us to just shoot in a basic color profile where everything is correct and where I don't have to rely on the editors to mess around with the colors so that we can release that video instantly or quickly. TLDR, you color grade when you have all the time in the world and you wanna convey an emotion or a feeling to your audience. So that's basically when you're doing short films or your documentaries or something like a passion project, which you have all the time in the world to do. When you don't wanna color grade is when you have a tight deadline where you wanna streamline the process or when you're working with people who don't know how to do color grading. That's basically the reasons when you should or should not be doing color grading or shooting for color grading. So yeah, that's basically it. If you guys like this video, don't forget to do all the things and if you want to watch the previous video over here and then do the thing over here if you want to.